face glitch here. And you know it's that time again uh, where we all wear green. Um, I'm talking about St. Patrick's Day. And uh, today, uh, this year, it falls on the 17th, which is a Friday. Um, it's a week before that is going to happen while this is being filmed. So I will be celebrating it this week. I'll be in Manhattan. Maybe I can maybe I can watch it from where I work. Um, I know Fifth Avenue is right there and I think they do go down Fifth Avenue. Um, I'm not certain. So anyway, um, we are going to be using the Quiet Man and uh, I made this specifically because I saw that movie and uh, I thought this would be a great a great shaving soap and uh, it's proven to be um, a very very good one indeed everybody seems to like it and of course we have the quiet man aftershave which I'm I'm just about done with that as well um, so we're gonna put this in a bowl and we're gonna do uh, make a lather bring it to the face and talk about things that I have experienced over this week uh, stick around don't go away okay so uh, here's the bowl it's pretty much empty right and here's the soap the quiet man and you could see right here now you could see that this has a green tinge and I do that purposely of course um, and the how I do that is I use mica and we just put it in there it's totally safe no problem but it does change the color of the soap and I think it uh, I think it really does add something you know to uh, to the fun you know of using um, an artisan shaving soap so that's what I do and I'm just using my finger and I'm putting a little bit in here and as I do it the the uh, green Irish tweed scent that this is uh, a dupe of oh, comes right out. So I'm going to close up this container and I'm just going to continue with that. You know what? You know me. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay. Just to piss off some viewers. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to do that. And uh, so, uh, let me grab my brush. And this is the wet the face brush. And I have some warm water, which I'm going to wring right out in the bowl. And then I'm going to just start by incorporating all those areas. And then start to agitate quickly and as you can see it's turning into a lather in no time at all and I, a very interesting thing which you can do as well you know my soaps are very soft and I had uh, a comment on my YouTube channel that the guy says I, I just I kind of like put a little bit in my fingers and and rub it in my face and then I use a brush and I do a face lather because your soaps are so soft that you can you can do that and I said well whatever floats your boat man that's, that's what it's all about you don't have to do exactly what I do whatever works for you that's what you should do oh, it could be a t-shirt Okay, as you can see, that's a real great lather, so let's bring this to the face and, and do the rest of the shave. Alright, so I have about uh, six to seven days growth, so let me with the face. Here's the lather, and let's apply it. Try not to get it on the shirt, but you know, 
We try. Oh, very nice. You can see it starts to get really thick and creamy when applying. <laughs> I'll wait until I'm done to wipe my nose. It doesn't seem to be helping any when I do it like this. Alright, I can feel it really getting in there. Oh boy. I like using circular motions. It seems to work best for me. I dig in first like this. And then I just kind of like... Go back and forth and smooth it out. That's just my method. Doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be yours. And I'm sure you don't want to get all of this slather on your shirt as well, so don't copy me on that either. <laughs> yeah, so if you have never seen The Quiet Man, I suggest that you do. Now, it's a little dated, right? So you may see things in there, and here are some things that could be offensive today, but it's been a it's been around for a long time, you know. And you have to just note what time period it's from. And you just enjoy it. It's a great, it's a great love story. Two great actors, John Wayne. I mean, anything with John Wayne I like. Okay. But let me tell you what happened. Uh, so I got a call yesterday. Today is Sunday. I get a call Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And it's St. James. When you get a call from St. James facility, you know it's not good when it's that early. And they're telling me on the phone that Mary... Mary had another seizure. Now, the reason why she had another seizure was all their fault. They explained it to me, they ran out of medication and just decided, I guess, to not even try to get her any. Or maybe they tried to get her some and it never arrived. They just kind of crossed their fingers. Oh, I hope nothing happens. Well, they're having an investigation because I went out of my mind yelling at people. And I, I don't know, maybe I am not right for yelling. But uh, I mean, if I know, and I spoke to the administrator of the whole entire place, and she tells me. I asked her, is Mary the only person in this whole facility that is on this one drug? And she says, I think you're right. I said, well, don't you think you should have some in an emergency area where when this happens that you can pull from that and then replenish it at a later time? And they do have something like that, but they just never did it for Mary, I guess. So I wanted to know why. And I wanted to know when they have the investigation done, what was, what was found and what are they doing in the future to rectify this? Cause I don't want my wife to get in, have another seizure especially when it's at the hand at their own hands and not 
anything else. They caused this to happen. Now, I don't know anything that happens behind the scenes in the sense I have, were their hands tied? I don't know. But this is what they do. They're supposed to think of these things, I guess, right? I don't know. It can't be, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Well, I thank God that nothing serious happened to her. Tell you, this is one hell of a shave right now. Wow. Wow, what a great shave. Now let me shake this up and uh, put some in here. Oh yeah. Yes. Very, very nice. So there you have it. Um, the Quiet Man Shave for St. Patrick's Day. And I hope everybody has a great St. Patrick's Day who celebrates it. And I had a great shave. I hope you have a great shave. I'll see you next week.